I'm going to build a hyperbola and then I'm going to show kind of two dimensions that flat screen and then I'm going to show how to make it into a three dimensional uh, hyperboloid and then um, it'll be like a cylindrical term, uh, paraboloid then actually I will uh, put a pattern I put Islamic tessellation style patterns on onto I project it onto the hyperboloid well, that will probably be part two so okay so here I'm looking from the top from the very top the camera and I picked meeting out in infinity infinity so under camera I picked parallel projection and then over here on the view I put top then I put in my circle so so far that's how I put that in so now what I want to do is like make a cone right so there's my circle like that and then I just go to the origin here I spin this up a bit so I could just pick any point here and I'm going to make a triangle and then I option I can make it then. well that's good enough then I'll come down to here I go like this there that's good and now twirl that around and make it into 3d so I go over here and I just click the insides of the circle and I erase that and then I select the circle this is a path which I want this triangle to, to go around and follow around so this is my little follow button up here and so now I, this is the follow button and then I click boom hey that's pretty cool that's one coin cone that's pretty smooth too this is sufficient so I'm going to move this down a little bit and then I want to make this until I can move it around and then I make a copy of it so I just take my selection button here and hit the control on time and then go up 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 there we go and I'll go a little further up because I want to have the two points meet but then I do my scale key there it is and I come back like that and it'll kind of lock on when you're the right way yeah see it snaps and I use my selection tool there we go okay so in this part you can see I've started my hyperboloids or hyperbola first and then the hyperboloids constructing them from this double double side cone and get an idea from the side here I'll get rid of that okay that was part one and part two actually construct the hyperbola and then the hyperboloid okay thank you